Hi there, this is the second part of a video series called Intensity vs Consistency. If you haven't watched out part 1, check it out before seeing this video. In part 1, I wanted to present what I consider a more appropriate mindset about this topic. Now, I would want to give you specific tools that will help you to be more consistent at anything you want. Here is the framework. Your core values need to align to your daily actions. The reason why you might be struggling to create new habits is because you don't value them enough to rewire your lifestyle. Also, it could be that you're captured by a self-limiting belief. Therefore, you have to be exposed to people whose values are aligned with those habits. Remember, you cannot be what you cannot see. Don't look at their results, look at their processes and their lifestyle and ask yourself if you're willing to commit to those. Number two, strong reasons will provide you strong motivation. When you start running out of emotional drive, and trust me, we all do when things get hard, you absolutely need to tap into the reasons of why are you doing this in the first place, why you cannot stop and why you cannot fail the people who count on you. Number three, specificity will bring clarity. When, where, and how. The more clear you are on the details, the higher your probability of succeeding. German psychologist Gabriel Ottingen created the acronym WOOP that I consider very useful to remember. Wish, outcome, obstacle, plan. Wish, explicitly articulate what it is that you want. Outcome, visualize how is the final outcome going to look like. How is it going to feel? Obstacles, what could go wrong? And finally, plan, how can you tackle those obstacles? Another extremely helpful resource is James Clear's book, Atomic Habits. He advises to optimize physical environment to optimize the starting point. You want your environment to help you trigger a behavior you want to do. Use your intelligence to shape your environment to your favor. Bring the reward to the present moment, meaning give yourself a treat every time you succeed. Remember, accumulation of actions become the evidence of the person you want to be. The goal is not to change just behavior, change processes, and get results. The end goal is to reshape your identity. To conclude, my personal advice is lower your standard to make every day achievable. 10 minutes of the imperfect work will always beat 60 minutes of a perfect session that never happens. Number two, go for incremental progress and also be kind to yourself. Programming your unconscious and managing your emotional self is by no means easy. 3. Get the support of the people around you. Hire a coach if you need extra guidance. Finally, build your own pace. Don't let yourself be pressured to deliver fast results. If you find this video helpful and are interested in having me make a video on how to unprogram bad habits, please let me know in the section below. Lastly, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and please share it with someone who might find this video interesting. Good luck.